welcome to Tarot of the Night Online. Today we're going to talk a little bit about fossils. First we talked about rocks. Now we're going to, that kind of leads us into fossils. And we know that fossils are the remains or an impression or a bone of an animal or plant that was on the earth long ago. Um, that's how we know about the animals and plants that um, were here long before us. This is called um, a fossil record, and um, we're going to scan this and put it in your PDF chart, like area, so that you can print this or at least look at it closer, like pull it up on your screen and look at it. But this is, um, this side is the layers of the earth, and this side is the time. So scientists and archaeologists have decided um, a way to organize all of this through periods of time, and they're marked through three main periods. This bottom is 2.5 billion years ago, so that's how long we've been um, keeping a record, not 2.5 billion years ago, but have found things. Um, this is a trilobite which is the oldest living organism that we have found um, a fossil of. And that is, you know, very, very, very long ago. And then as we move up, these are the most recent fossils found over time, and the dinosaurs are right here. So next we're gonna talk about the dinosaurs and what we know about the dinosaurs through fossils. But this <clears throat> is the timeline, and that's how we can organize all the things that have been living on the earth before us that are extinct. We can learn about the plants, how we know that land that used to, that is now desert has sea animals, fossils found. So that's how we know um, that that used to be covered in water. It's hard to imagine, but it's like a giant puzzle um, figuring out what the earth used to be like and fossils are a really great way for scientists to figure out all of that. And so there are lots of different kinds of fossils. There are shells, there are corals, and I have a coral here. Um, this is a horn coral fossil. They're extinct now, but if you, um, you can find these in near water. And actually a student and his family gave this to me and I'm so thankful to have it. And so it's a fossil of an extinct animal that used to live on the earth. Um, <clears throat> sometimes animals leave tracks, like if we were going on like a hike, you might find a deer impression like in the mud. And that's similar to the way fossils were made. If an animal or plant dies or stops living or just gets falls to the ground lots of times they decay they're blown away they're eaten but in the instance that they aren't and and the best case for a fossil would be that it would be covered by mud or really a flood is a great way um, that a fossil would be made it would be covered in mud and then over a long long period of time the bones would decay or the animal would decay and that space would fill over rock, um, minerals, all the things that happen on earth over time and then the, the fossil is uncovered. Um, another great way we know about things is um, if something is trapped in amber, which is like a tree sap kind of thing, bugs are trapped in that it's hardened and then preserved over a long period of time. So in your packet, I have put um, this, which is predicting about fossils. And this, in this case, is about the dinosaurs becoming fossils. It's all jumbled up. Um, this is not the right order. And then you would color it and cut it out and say, first they were alive, then they died. We think they were covered in water or mud. Um, they were, they died on the earth and then over time, they were covered, turns to stone. This is a very long process. 
then they were discovered and uncovered. And in the area, then they were able to piece them back together. And that's how we know about, say, the woolly mammoth, who's no longer living. But those bones were found and able to put together. And when you go to, say, the museum in um, the Smithsonian, or even I think there's a museum here in town where it has the dinosaur bones all put together. And that's how we know what they ate and um, how they survived. So, and then also there is, an, I put a word search in here for you about the types of fossils. There are cast fossils, body fossils like the dinosaurs, trace fossils, an ammonite, which we have in our classroom too, and then fossil resin, which is like hardened tree amber. And so I know that some of you have done a crossword puzzle or a word search before, and, and it's all the words are hidden in here, and then there are other letters put in. So it's like a mystery. And if you are a kindergartner, I would really like you to try it. And then if you're a pre-K, you're welcome to try it too. So I here's my strategy. I always kind of look and see. I look at the words first that I'm looking for. And then I see if I can find any um, right off the bat. Sometimes the words just pop out. And right here I can see paleontologist. So I'm going to check my spelling. P-A-L. Yep. And then I go P-A-L. And then I do notice that all the word, all the letters are here across. And then I circle it. But in the event that I can't find the word right off the bat, I choose one. And I am going to choose Velociraptor Claw. And here's how I do it. I look at the first letter, V. And then I start at the top and I keep going. It takes some patience, but I know you can do it. I look for V. And I did not see a V. I'm going to the next row. V. No V. Then I'm going to go to the third row. I'm still looking for the V. I found one. So I put my finger on it and I look at my next letter. Then I search around. I'm looking for an E. No E. So I'm going to keep going down. No V. Go to the next row and you're going to keep looking. And I just keep looking and then I look around the letter until I find what I'm looking for. And so you should try this too. You don't have to do it all at once. It's a big challenging work but I thought for sure you can do it. This is definitely not something you need to sit down and do all at one time but just do it over um, a couple days or a week, whatever. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and learn about the different types of fossils. There's also a video for you. Um, it's very cool on Grand Pop Jr. about fossils that I would like you to watch. And then, so watch the video first and then do your activities and just see how it goes. We hope you're doing well and we'll see you soon.